Okay, hi everybody. So we're going to do another traditional Kaltheim draft. So we open Skemfar Avenger. It goes it goes well with uh, black or red. So it's a really versatile card. It's a good two drop. I think it's better than uh, Usher and Dwarven Hammer. I'm not sure if it's better than a Mistwalker, but I'm happy first picking a card like this. I like messing around with rares. All right, well, this is a Berserker. This is something that I'm definitely interested in. Magda is very good. She ramps you, she fixes you. And when she dies off uh, Avenger, you draw a card, so sure. I don't mind starting off with two rares. So that was a Frostbite. There's also a Ruined Crown. With this early aggressive start, I like having access to a Frostbite. There's also a Highland Forest, but maybe we just make a nice uh, aggressive deck here. So now there's a Sulfurous Mine, which is on color. Mm, there's the Mentor if we want to go Avenger, if we want to try to leverage this. There's also an argument for Slumber Mound. Really no black art here. So I could speculate on Elves. Now that, that doesn't make sense because we need black to be Elves. So I guess with Frostbite, we want to maybe lean a little bit towards snow if we're not if we're not sure about the pick. Well, here's another Berserker for uh, Avenger. Vault Rubber does become a 2-3. But we can get those way later. I, I like having access to Emerstrom Raider. Wow, okay, so now there's an Elven Bow. So that's a signal that green might be open, but there's also a Frostbite and a Run Amok. I think I like my first Run Amok more than my second Frostbite. I believe that's correct. Ooh, so this is now something that we can potentially wheel, which means that I'm taking Woodland Chasm. Chasm, I'm sorry, it's pronounced Chasm. Oh, this is an Elf and a Berserker for Avenger, but again, we can get this way later. I think I'm just gonna take the Snowland. Another run amok. There's a snow covered swamp, but I'm I'm gonna cut the red cards. I don't know if I'm black. I only have one black card and we didn't see much. Now I think I might I might be tempted to just take a glade walker here. That's a late glade walker. I think that's the best card in the pack. We also have an infernal pet. I guess with Magda, maybe we could make we maybe we can go off with this. Because if you I mean if you're accelerating and if you can double spell, it does become better. I want to prioritize equipment with a card like this. So if I can find a helm, that would be great. Yeah, I need to remember that it's search your library for an artifact or dragon card. So it's so. Let's 
So this can find something like uh, Cosmos Elixir. I don't know what artifacts are you putting in your deck. But five treasures is a bit tricky to sack. Ooh, that's a nice wheel. So we already have a bunch of berserkers that we can bring back. Yeah, I don't think I can pass this card. And this is why I'm happy that I took Woodland Chasm. It's a very strong card. So whenever a permanent opponent controls this, put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on serve Realm Eater. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Sarulf has one or more plus one plus one counters, you may remove all of them and you exile each non-land permanent with converted, cost, mana, with converted mana cost less than or equal to the numbers. So less than or equal. Yeah, so if you take two counters off, yeah, so it's, Each other non-land permanent with converter cost. Yeah, so it doesn't exile itself if you take three off, but it exiles your creatures as well. Having said that, it's still very good. Yeah, you can play around, you can play around your own cards. So now another berserker. There's another there's another sulfurous, sulfurous mine though. Maybe I'm just supposed to take the mine. Nah, I like this card. It's it's one of my favorite cards in the set. So now, well, Narfi's good. I'd rather just take another solid three drop for our deck. I actually think Demonic Gifts might be uh, quite a good card in our deck given the way that this build is coming together. So now there's a Squash and a Skull Cairn. Squash is an expensive removal spell for this deck. We don't have any Giants. I don't really want a five mana spell. That's not, that's not how we're trying to win. Okay, so now I definitely want the the Berserkers, and this is just going to be like a super low curve aggro deck. 16 lands. Sarulf is looking less likely. It's just not like our, our deck just wants to run over and finish with maybe Hailstorm Valkyrie. This, unfortunately, this isn't, this is the type of deck where I would play Dogged Pursuit. Skull Cairn can also, I mean, also deals three in addition to the discard. Hmm. Guess I'll take Jarl. Yeah, it's another elf for uh, Avenger. This this can actually drop the two cards off Avenger.
I guess I am a little bit more likely to play this because I also have Magda. In addition to the Chasm, so that's already two sources. I don't think I want two Dusk Wielders. I, I definitely want a Raven Wings for this deck. That that could be the the game changer. There's the Dogged Pursuit. <laughs> I will play. I mean, this is the deck for it. It's kind of crazy that we open another one. I think we just want this Shadow Sage. We're not going to be able to cast a Herald consistently, but this can deal quite a bit of damage when it goes into play because it's not just Elves. Um, it's any creatures that share a type. Yep, another Berserker. Something else that can draw a card. It's just a good card. 3-3 three, three Haste is what the type of card this deck wants. All right, I don't think this Valkyrie is happening now. Probably Sirulf either. This is actually a cool combo with um, the god that whenever an opponent sacks a creature, it comes into play under your control. Guess I want a Goldveen pick. really think I'm not sure if we want infernal pet in this deck so just stone nothing So Helm or Raze, we have 12 creatures. Still like Helm. I guess we have 13 creatures with the Longboat, 14 with Raze. Yeah, I mean, I have enough playables. I, I really don't need this. <laughs> it's like, it's still terrible. E even in the decks where you do want it, it's still terrible in those decks. I think I just want this uh, Kennel Master as a curve topper. This is also a Berserker. Okay, okay. Mm. So we never saw much more red. But we got we got a lot of good black cards. Probably ruined somebody's elf deck. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. So the, the worst card for us is uh, Crush the Weak.
All right, we'll be back after the build. All right, looks like this is the build. Let's just quick quickly run through it. I'll show what I what I did. So uh, Valkyrie is out, Jarl is out. I don't really need to play Sarov. I did get, uh, I guess, ultimately one of these, but not worth it. We also have the world tree, but I mean, these are just tap lands. We have an aggro deck. We want to be attacking. Uh, and we already have two Skull Cairns. Even with these two, I still think this is a 16 land deck. We can uh, get some treasures off Magda, off Goldvein Pick. We can draw lands off uh, Firewalker. So this is good. So my, my, my kid budged in. Uh, so I'll, I'll play with outside for a little bit because he's probably going to make noise. So that's a pretty sweet turn for us. Our opponent played uh, Roots of Wisdom. Okay, okay. So we're we're kind of trading a card for a card, and I get well, not not really. I get to grow, I, I get to draw a card actually. So they only get hexproof until end of turn. I can't kill them, but this is this is fine. Raiders carve that our opponent cannot equip. Okay. I guess we just send in Magda, draw a card and get another treasure token. Then play Firewalker. There's, there's even an argument for sending both. But no, I want to draw my card. He kind of has to trade, doesn't he? I could also crack this, but I'm short on lands. I don't want to sacrifice a land yet. No blocks. In fact, I'm just going to get Firewalker. And uh, keep up two Frostbites. Not much to do here. I'm not going to double Frostbite to kill something. I just pass. I mean, I could attack with everything and then double Frostbite the Raider's Carve. And then get in for nine. That could be a play. That could be a heck of a play. Yeah, totally worth doing that. But I need to, I guess, no, I don't need to play the mountain first. I can sacrifice the treasure. Um, I 
hope I can draw a run amok. So he might have uh, another veil, uh, but he does not. Let's see if we can find the land. Perfect. And we can just sack the skull cairn for lethal next turn. So that that's 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 an easy win. Okay, no, not yet. He's going to gain life now. Six. Um, looks like I still if he can't if he can't play anything else, it looks like I still have lethal because I just skull care and attack with everything. What could he have that gets me? I don't think. Well, he could have like a three three mana card, but he would have to tap Sentinel. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what we can put him on. Mountain goes. Yeah, now it's just definitely lethal. So let's stack with everything. Okay, so we're up against like a mediocre elves deck. I'm gonna sideboard in uh, Dogged Pursuit because I can see a situation where I get a ton of damage through, they stabilize. And then I can't do anything else. I think it's better than a Dusk Wielder on, uh, on the play. I kind of hope this isn't in my opening hand. Again, like if I had a better card than just a random one drop, I probably wouldn't put this in, but somehow I feel that we can get, get a little bit of value. I don't know if our opponent's running some, some life gain, but again, with my, my deck can deal a lot of damage fast, but it could have a problem closing out a, a game against like a really grindy long game go wide elves deck. At some point, I just, I won't be able to attack into them. Okay, so he gets a really good elf, actually. So uh, 
I shouldn't have played the land. It's okay. I'm just going to equip uh, Firewalker. There's no need to boast. I played a land. I can't play anything if I exile it. I'm thinking of whether I should use a frostbite on the one one, and I think the answer is yes because uh, this gets more damage across, and it's going to be one less minus one minus one counter for me. Do I send in the Emerson Raider? No, I don't think so. I think this is fine. He's probably just going to block the Avenger. Then we can raise, bring him back. Mm, okay, okay. So he can kill both of these. He can kill one of them. Also, he can't pump, not that he wants to. What? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Do you think I'm not going to attack into a 5-5? Five five? No, let's not let's let's attack first. So and this is just gonna be like a demonic gifts or uh, one of the two runamocks off the top, right? Okay. Well, I think our opponent forgot about the ping, ping from hell, and did, didn't do the math right. I'm, I'm guess I'm, that's my guess as to what happened. So this is a great opening hand. Frostbite to stop early aggression.
Mm, okay. So I'm going to offer the trade. At some point, I can get this back maybe with uh, Dragon Recruiter. Okay. All right, all right, that's good for us. Land would also be nice, nice. So let's see, I can recruit her or I can ping and play Faithful. I think I should play Draga Recruiter. Yeah, because if I get if I can hit my next land for a kennel master, then I can attack for quite a bit of damage. So I'm hoping to draw land and play um, play my top end. Okay. So we can weigh that down. I don't think he's playing bottom of snow, right? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so just about halfway there to a three on. So we're gonna be on the draw. I kind of still like Dusk Wheel there against against their kind of slow deck, right? They're just playing like Berserkers. Eh, maybe it's not that great. It's a better card. Same logic as previous game. Yep, good enough. The artwork on this one is kind of cool. If you notice, the, the blood looks like it's just hanging still in the air.
Now I will trade for the Berserker because I'll draw a card right away. For that reason, he may not want to even attack into me. Sure. So he gets a 2-2, his creature lives, but like I draw a card, so I don't feel like it's a terrible trade. I'm going to bring this out now because it can actually block. And I'm going to choose to gain life because, again, with like as long as we, as we stabilize, I think we win the long game. I don't know what my opponent's stop end is, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say that our decks are somewhat similar and that it's it's low curve, go wide. You know, maybe he's got the 5-5. Five, five, um, but I'm happy just sitting back like this. I will certainly attack with this because I can boast, draw something, play it, and cast this in for a card off Avenger. Sure. Another skull card. Nice, okay. I'm just drawing endless cards off these things dying now. That's straight up value. So this dies, I get a 2-2, two -two, I draw a card, I re-equip the other 2-2 two -two elf, attack again, draw another card, and there's my Dogged Pursuit. Okay, okay, that's good. Let's see what the last card is. Swamp, okay. I don't think we attack, we just chill. Yeah, we chill and slam dog at pursuit.
Nice. I think we can play everything, right? So let's go Dogged Pursuit. Helm. And put both Helms on this. Zombie making it a 4-4 and then we just sit back. So this this changes the clock because don't forget that these these abilities stack. So as soon as he's down to uh, two, it's just lethal because it, all I have to do is attack, and then unless he has an exile or a destroy effect, the moment he throws a blocker in front of his four four, he's just gonna die, and that's gonna happen in a couple of turns. I could win sooner with another run amok with Arnie. Maybe Kennel Master. I mean, definitely Kennel Master. All right, well. Ooh, now we have a Gold Vein pick. Let me just sit back. I should do it. I love because I love the opponent's name. Run, run, run. That's that's exactly what I tell my kid when uh whenever we run together. So it's familiar a string of three words for me. Mm, I guess we can dump a swamp.
Yeah, that's really cool artwork. Johannes Voss. Yuck. So nothing we can do here. Not a great way to start game three. He's going to look at my library. And that would be wicked mean. Uh, you know, I, I would do it. I would do it too if I was my opponent. Please don't put a land in the graveyard. Please don't put a land in the graveyard. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. He helped me. Why, thank you, kind sir. Um, I'm not going to read her this turn. I'm just going to go Comus Faithful. Because next turn, I can Frostbite equip an attack. Or equip and run amok. Whatever. Whatever my preference is. I guess run amok is better because, because of the life gain. But we can always save it for some, some bigger challenge. This trades nicely for Frostbite, I think. So we'll see. Run, run, run. No. I'm just going to block. I mean, now it's like, I guess I can e equip pick attack. Uh, you know, there, there might, might be worth doing that. I'm not going to chump yet. Because uh, if, I mean, if I really want to go nuts, I can also throw Helm on there and, uh, Gain two life. So now with the uh, recruiter, I don't know. I'm not sure what the play is. Well, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a token, and then I guess it's gonna be an easier decision, right? I'm gonna get a treasure. So let's. I guess no. The the correct play is helm. I hope this isn't the. Well, if it's the bounce spell, it would be kind of silly because he's wasting two cards on a card. Yeah, and then we can just frostbite the thought thief. That would be my that would be my choice. It's funny, the, the elf kind of looks old on the picture as well. This is some old guy with a with a crown on it. With a crown. So we can run a mock over that and then again get a token. Decline. Yeah, so the plan is we're going to run amok after blocks. That'll give us a treasure token to go raider into and to toss uh, Dusk Wheel into the graveyard. It's just something we can 
recur with recruiter later in the game, gives us a mana sink. I, I would do that probably after blocks and after effects are declared. Like I said, if you want to seize the bounce spell, I think that's silly, but short. Who am I to argue? Oh, does he want to just kill it with priest? Is that the plan? I'm fine with that as well. It's a better target to bring back with priest, with a recruiter. So what do we know? Three non-lands, all right, so we should hit a land now. 52% chance. I probably want to bring back this card first. Yeah, this is perfect. So Gets this guy, and I can even cast Dusk Wheel there. Next, I probably want Arnie. I don't even have to replay these creatures now. Like there's just a lot of value in uh, drawing them off recruiter. This is probably the first time that I've ever, I guess I can, I guess I can say gone off with this card. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> so let's see, equip the helm. Lure the double block. Fire off run amok. So no blocks. I guess I still want to Emerstrom Raider. toss Arnie back in the graveyard and draw a card. I mean, it's just, I, I can keep doing this multiple times with Recruiter. So putting this back in the graveyard is not like, is not really equivalent to discounting a card or uh, discarding a card. Plus the later that I cast this, the more damage it's gonna do. Right now it's gonna do three. Elf, oh no, it's not. This is not, it's gonna do two of these two elves. That's either very scary for me or very foolish for the opponent. OK. 
Okay. All right, so then let's drain pre-attacks. Sure. Okay. So this should be lethal unless he has something else. Okay, so let's go. This also makes it so that he can't sack priest with only one snow covered swamp to kill one of these. So let's see, can we just win? So let's weigh down this. Yeah, I think that's just game. <clears throat> I'm not sure this is going to help us. This this is a different this is a bit different. Yeah, we're not gonna play dogged pursuit. I do like Jarl because he's very likely to block with the priest. So I think Jarl can be good in this in this matchup. And then I'd probably take out like a Dusk Wielder. I think with three lands, we can even go turn one helm. I don't think I'm going to play the tap line first. I'm 36% uh, chance to, to draw lands, and I'd rather just make use of my mana as soon as possible. If I don't draw a two drop, then I can always play this. So let's see. That would be the Pomeranian again.
I wonder if there's such a thing as a half dwarf, half elf. I don't know the mythology. It doesn't have any lands. Why, why would you do that? You don't have any snow lands. Oh boy. So I guess we attack, make a treasure, and then play Shadow Sage for the drain. This time we'll elect to choose damage, deal two. So any lands we get, we're gonna to toss with Raider. And this looks like a snow land, but it's, it's a bit misleading. It's just the artwork. You think snow, you think Aurora Borealis. North, that's not how it works. So he can bring back a priest or a jogger once he gets to seven. Instant speed becomes into the, uh, comes into the battlefield tap. Good to remember that. Hmm. I don't really want Comus Faithful to die because I don't want him to find creatures to find to bring back. So I think I'm just going to Helm Faithful and uh, I guess attack with everything. Narfi, okay. Sure. So now we can equip the bird. That's actually really nice. So let's go Raider first, toss the mountain. Ooh, run amok, that changes things. So now we just attack with everything. In fact, we equip first. In fact, we should probably frostbite then run amok because that's definitely lethal, right? Oh no, he's, yeah, 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 that's, so let's see, three. Yeah, let's just do it. So. That's game. Nice, got there. So easy three and zero. Didn't make too many mistakes while playing. I don't remember any. I don't remember big ones. So maybe some minor things to improve here and there. Hope you guys enjoyed that. See you next time.